So I will uh, do a series of short demonstrations here on how the aura interacts with other people's aura. So the first demonstration is a relatively benign one because I will create a seductive aura. So normally our auras kind of have a barrier between them, like she has her space, I have my space. And in order to uh, create a feeling of attraction, I'm going to in way, invite her into my space. And very naturally, because her own energy attracts her own energy, by having her energy in my space, the energy which is still with her, gets attracted to that energy. So by opening up my aura, and you could say almost capturing or sponging up her energy, she's, her energy is drawn to me, her attention is drawn to me. And this is generally how seduction using the aura works. It's also a natural thing which happens when people fall in love, because they stop blocking themselves off and they open themselves up to become a unit and then attraction forms which can be mutual or not mutual depending if only one side or both sides open up their auras. Some people naturally have much more open auras and these people tend to be much more attractive. So it is not just about how you look physically but also very much about how your aura behaves which shows how much attention you will get from other people and especially from people from the opposite sex. So now I will use the same technique but in a slightly more devious manner because I'm now allowing her energy in but if I would lower my own energy then it turns into vampirism. fighting, allow it to happen, just for demonstration. So I put myself in a lower energetic state, um, in this case using some sadness, and this allows energy to flow out of her heart into my aura, my domain, because I'm using her own empathy against her because her natural response is to balance things out to heal things and because we're in a way in one energy system she is sending these healing energies which I'm then in a way taking from her so if I would not be doing this intentionally if I would just be sad she would give me attention and love and affection and I would start to feel better but for a person who's vampiric in nature they're not utilizing this energy to build themselves up again. They're just utilizing this energy to feed themselves, to strengthen themselves and to continue their vampiric behavior. So there's a lot of uh, in a way, benefit for these people uh, to be sick, to be ill, to be sad, to be depressed, to be in trouble because this is their way of looking for energetic nourishment, energetic food. So, <coughs> maybe now we'll do a short demonstration of how to defend yourselves against it. So, one method is to make your own energy even lower. So, you actually drain the person who is draining you. Could you try that? Putting too much attention on me, keep the attention oh. on yourself. So now her energy which was given to me starts to withdraw and I'm starting to feel drained. Usually when this happens it's also that the more vampiric person will feel that 
gosh, it's not working, I will just say bye bye, break off the content. <coughs> Another way to do that is basically to discipline your own reaction because it is an instinctive reaction to try to, uh, for the energy to flow from high to low, to try to help to elevate the lower energies. Uh, but we can also choose not to do that. So we will try again, but now try not to respond. Not completely there yet, but at least I noticed that there is it is more of a struggle for me to get her energy than it was before, so also in this case I'm likely to look for an easier prey that will be more giving to me. Now the final part I want to discuss is using it in a slightly opposite manner of uh, not so much inviting the person in, but inserting myself in the other person's aura to stimulate or to manipulate her. So I'll first go back to a normal aura state for both of us. And what I do now is I enlarge my own aura to ultimately envelop her aura. Now, from my perspective, she is just a part of me controlling my surroundings, my own energy body. So I'm now in a very energetically dominant position. So using this dominance, I will start focusing on her emotional layer. And there create a kind of a elated feeling, a positive feeling, so that she will open up more to my presence. So typically in public speaking this is done by making positive statements like you can do it, you're all beautiful, you're a wonderful audience, um, things like this appealing to the emotions, getting them to rise and uh, therefore making the person more susceptible. So once the person's energy state is elevated, energy is more flexible, so it becomes more easily to change, to manipulate. So the next stage would be inserting the program I would like uh, to be there. And this can be usually on a more mental layer. And to do this, I need to, in a way, amplify my own program by using my own willpower. So the throat chakra needs to be very open, and also the second chakra needs to be very open. And then I can make statements which will resonate strongly in her aura. You're a wonderful person, great cook. I really enjoy your massages. You should do it more often. Um, if you look at that last statement, like, you should do it more often, you can see that it is, in a way, this energy which I created has now lodged itself in her aura as a thought pattern, a behavioral pattern, which can be triggered. So by pulling her attention to that, like, how do you feel about massage, the pattern will trigger, energy will start to flow to her hands and she will get into that state without choosing to do so, because it's kind of like an automatic programming I've inserted in her. And this is how media and politicians function all the time. They either open us up in a positive way 
or they open us up in a negative way. Because I could also use, for instance, aggression and fear. And then the per she would also open up or surrender because she doesn't want more aggression or more fear to happen to her. And then also she becomes susceptible to whatever messages I'm sending through newspapers or news bulletins or any other way. Okay, I hope this has been instructive and you might be able to find more easily these types of programmings both in yourself and others.